hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would just take you guys along with me vlog a little bit of our weekend we are going to be heading out to um a really nice big kind of thrift charity furniture store in a minute um so in case you guys don't already know we are moving house hopefully i don't want to jinx it we were meant to move um about a month ago it's been delayed we're really hoping that we're going to be moving by the end of the month but i can't help myself and i keep on buying stuff for the house um even though i probably shouldn't but it is what it is i'm so impatient um i've actually been gifted some bits as well from my picture so my picture are basically a personalized kind of photo printing company you can get stuff done just like normal photo prints poster prints um canvases gifted kind of print items as well which is really really cool and i always harp on about this that one of the kind of easiest and best ways to kind of personalize and update your house affordably is art so i have actually i've got so many kind of big some of them in the background there i've got so many kind of big frames um and i've been saying to steve that i wanted to make sure we had loads of art that we could just change because i think that's such a good way to kind of refresh the space is by changing out the art and the cushions and little things like that um we want to make sure that everything we're buying big furniture wise is going to be nice and kind of neutral but other things we have a lot more fun with so i have done the world's biggest order from my picture they've actually given me a discount code to share with you guys as well so i'll leave that on the screen and all of the kind of terms and conditions and stuff i'll put down in the description box in case you do want to go check them out but it's like 25 percent off which is a really really generous discount and they are super affordable anyway <laughs> this box is <laughs> <laughs> it's so huge okay so i think i'm gonna have to probably film this separately and put the stuff um over the top watch out rocky okay so first thing i got was some huge poster prints i've been meaning to get some pictures printed in poster sizes for so long i've previously ordered from different companies and the quality has been really bad um or other companies haven't had the right sizes that i've wanted i'm honestly I cannot stress enough so so beyond happy with the quality of these they are perfection and you guys know i wouldn't just say that i actually wanted to do an unbox like a f unboxing with you because i'm not someone who can hide my emotions if i don't like something i feel like my face really shows but i got too excited and i opened everything um like a couple of days ago so um yeah all the posters that i got printed they aren't my own pictures. So I just want to stress that I actually saw them from a site called Pexels where photographers upload really high res images. So if you can either have your own photos printed and add like a personal touch to your space or you can kind of source some really nice high res ones from Pexels. I will leave all of the pictures that I kind of use down below in the description because they're obviously not my photos. So I want to give credit to the original artists. But I got a couple of smaller ones. Um, to, these were to go in like a 50 by 70 frame with a mount. First one I actually had done is a photo of Wales. So we are moving from Bristol to Cardiff. In our current house, we have like a little Bristol print on the wall. I wanted to do something really similar. I saw this photo and thought it was absolutely stunning. Um, so I wanted to be able to have a frame somewhere in the house where we could kind of have something a bit more personal to the house and the area. I'm going to have to fire through these so quickly, otherwise we're going to be here forever. Um, I've said before, I really like kind of personal prints of trips that we've been on. So this is a tram photo of San Fran, which is from a trip that we've been on. There's another one of a kind of cable car in San Fran as well. Again, this one is a photo from the West Coast. It's a California kind of beachy print so it just kind of brings up good memories of like trips and stuff this is the golden gate bridge in san francisco i actually got a couple done for my sister as well so a couple of parisian kind of prints because that's where her and her husband got engaged so i got a couple of them done for her because i know that she's been on the lookout for some really nice prints so i'm going to give those to her and then i got some huge ones these are the ones i was most excited about um and these are mainly to like go probably in our master bedroom but i got a couple of different styles depending on 
the season I thought it'd be really nice maybe in summer to have some more kind of bright light prints and then maybe in winter have some nice kind of moodier ones so this one here I just love this it's really simplistic it's just a kind of I don't know what you'd call this a landscapey kind of print but I love the kind of green tones of that this one here I just absolutely love the colors I love the neutral set off with the blue um it's just like a nice little desert print I thought this one could potentially be really cool for the bathroom it's just like a water print with a woman kind of floating in the center there this print here again I love these kind of dusky pinky colors with the blue and the neutrals this is actually a photo of Palm Springs which again is somewhere that we visited when we did our kind of um west coast trip and this is supposed to be palm springs as well although it doesn't look very palm springsy but again i just really really love like the palm trees and the kind of architecture in the background but something to note with all of these like i don't know whether the camera will pick it up but the quality is actually like insane look at the depth of that image it is crazy crazy good I've been, like I said before, I've been disappointed so many times before when I've ordered prints and they've not turned out exactly how I had hoped. I'm so, so happy with them. They look like really professional. The key is getting high quality images, obviously, but the printing is like spot on. I also got a few different kind of black and white prints, which I thought would be so sweet in just some... Like simple black frames. These are literally all dog pictures. I'm obsessed. But yeah, I thought they'd be really sweet just to go maybe in the hallway or something. Oh, look at Milo. He's so cute. And I did get some smaller prints as well. So there are some kind of prints of like my family there from my sister's wedding. And then I just got some like really cringy like couples photos. I mean, I won't take you guys through absolutely all of these. But I just thought it'd be nice to... Kind of have some of these like scattered throughout the house just to make it a little bit more personal because we actually really don't have any photos around our house at the moment you can also um have the ability to like change our photos to, like black and white and stuff like that as well but yeah just some nice kind of like little memories from <laughs> did i just sit on you <laughs> oh dear um yeah just some nice little kind of personal prints to have around the house like good little memories and stuff um and i'm not done there i've got a couple more really exciting bits so i have to be quiet with this one because i'm actually going to give this to steve for christmas so um on his desk at the moment it's just a typical bloke desk it's like not really anything on it it's very kind of minimal but i thought it'd be nice to have a little family photo on his desk but I knew that he wouldn't want like a kind of cutesy little photo frame or anything like this. And I saw that my picture do these, which are basically acrylic blocks. Oh, so satisfying. They do these acrylic blocks that you can have a photo printed into, which is so, so cool. I thought it'd be absolutely perfect for like a kind of desk office space. So it's just a little picture of the four of us there they also do quite a lot of different prints like you can have it printed on like a wood block you can actually have wood block prints and put them on your wall they print on aluminium like they print on so many different things so there's definitely a lot more variety than what i'm showing you guys here but these are just the kind of products that i'm going to be using in my house but i thought this would be so sweet very kind of simple modern just perfect for his office and then i got one last thing so um in case you guys don't know steve actually has his own youtube channel he does gaming and that's something he really wanted to improve on in our new house was the acoustics i've been researching into it quite a lot and how we could kind of do that and one thing that you can kind of do is have canvas prints and kind of put a bit of foam behind them and it just kind of breaks up all the hard surfaces so the audio is better so i had this made this is ginormous it's actually ginormous so again i found this print on um pexels it is a, Cal a, a california a san francisco um kind of city line print the colors on this are incredible i was really really worried that having it printed on a canvas that it would just look a little bit washed out but the quality like honestly i'm so beyond chuffed with how this turned out um, they have a crazy, let me take the film off because it's not meant to be shiny. They have a crazy amount of variety of sizes. 
um, and actually they have the option to add a frame. I would have added a frame on, but they couldn't do the frame in this size because it's so big. But some of the smaller sizes, you can have like a wooden frame or a black frame or whatever you want added onto the edge of the canvas, which I think is such a nice way to make it look a little bit more expensive. But yeah, look at the colors on this. It is insane, like insanely good. And this is absolutely ginormous as well. So huge. Um, so this is another way, like if you don't want to have, um, you know, frames and everything and just prints, you can get it printed onto a canvas. It just looks so expensive. Um, and choose your own photo. Like if you're into photography, you can have your own photography done. If you've got really nice like family portraits, things like that, it's such a nice way to kind of update your home and make it look more personal. So like I said, we went to San Fran a couple of years ago. We both absolutely loved it. So it's really nice having that personal touch of somewhere that we remember that sparks really, really happy memories, but a professional photographer has done this. We have not done this. My photography skills are definitely not that good. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm so, so happy. And I'm just, I can't wait to get these up <laughs> when we do move. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Um, but yeah, hopefully in like, a month or so i'll be able to show you guys all of this stuff styled up in the house but like i said i will leave that um discount code on the screen again for you guys to go check out um it's a seriously good discount but honestly like the prices already are really 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 good like seriously competitively priced and the quality is insane i know i'm going to get asked questions about how long it took to ship and hang on let me figure it out so the photo prints were super quick the main thing i had to wait for was a big canvas but it wasn't that long of a wait so the longest wait that i had was three days in production so from the day that i ordered i ordered in like the evening and then like three days later they produced it and dispatched it and then it was only a couple of days to arrive after that the photo prints actually came pretty quickly because they came in like a little envelope thing but it was more just like the really big canvas took a tiny bit longer but the shipping was still super super quick so yeah anyway i'm gonna stop blabbing on um and we are gonna go out to the thrift store steve is gonna come with me um i wouldn't say oh, is there anything in particular i'm looking for i if there are some bedside tables that take my fancy i've got something in particular in mind you guys know what it's like thrifts like thrift shopping if you see something you love you just have to get it because what are the chances it's gonna pop back up again? So I like just go to go and browse. If there's something that I like, I'll get it, but I'm not desperate for anything right now because obviously we haven't even moved. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys at the thrift store.
from the charity shop. Um, we've just whacked the oven on because we're gonna have a pizza for lunch. Um, so charity store, we went in two in the end. The first one we went to is like normally my favorite. It's the St. Peter's Hospice on Brislington Hill, if anyone is from Bristol. Um, and it's like by far my favorite charity shop because they do so many like decor furniture bits in there. Today wasn't the best because honestly it felt like everything was just sold. Everything had like sold signs on it and it felt like they were... <sighs> Got some mental dogs. So yeah, it kind of felt like they were having a bit of a changeover where they were waiting for people to collect things that they bought but didn't bring any new stuff out. So it was a little bit annoying. Um, I saw a chair that I loved when I first walked in which was £25 but it was sold. I also saw a cabinet which had a kind of arch detail to it um, and I think it was about 40, 50 pounds, which was okay, but I didn't, I don't know, I don't really need it and I, we're moving house, I, I don't know. No bedside tables whatsoever. <laughs> there was like two like single ones in store and that was the one thing that I was like kind of interested in. But we did pick up what Milo is currently lying on we found the rug that we were looking at at the end. It's a 160 by 230 um, flat woven rug from Dunelm in really good condition. Uh, it's actually like, it's, well, the reason I quite liked it is because I thought it could work really well in like a dining area or maybe like an office because it's a nice kind of practical flat woven one. Um, so that was 25 pounds, which I actually thought was pretty good for the size of the rug and the condition as well. And it's small, it's like, compact enough for me to put in the washing machine as well. So yeah, it's this kind of natural with like a black kind of stripe detail. So there's a few different rooms I thought could, it could work really well in. So we were like, why not? Let's just pick it up. Um, 
yeah so i'm gonna put it in the washing machine now give that a good wash um it doesn't smell bad but it just smells like it smells a bit like a charity shop um are you having a nap on it as well do you like it anything soft that's on the floor you like don't you huh we did also go into a second charity store which is one that you guys have mentioned like to me before any kind of local hello hello any local bristol people have said um it's the one what's that retail park called uh gallagher retail park gallagher retail park yes. i don't know um it's a new kind of cancer research one i think um, and I had been in there previously when it first opened there wasn't really anything in there went in there again today and some of the stuff is just so overpriced like there are some dirt cheap things in there but so much of it was just like one of the kind of old fashioned glass dresser things was like 150 pounds bit much in there yeah which is just like I thought really overpriced um yeah it was a bit hit and miss in there so we didn't pick anything up from there but it was good just to have like a little wander and a look now so we're just gonna have some lunch and i don't even know what we've got planned for this afternoon i ordered some more christmasy stuff that i want to show you guys as well so i might take you guys through that right this is the worst vlog ever um so i forgot to film so after lunch steve popped out to go see his mum for a little bit um and i sat down did some work didn't realize what time it was and it's starting to get really dark it's like quarter to four but i said i would share with you guys some of the homey bits that i've been getting um and i want to do it before it gets super super dark little update on the rug i don't know if you can see it just hanging over our banister so i put it in the washing machine on like a gentle delicate like 30 minute wash it seems to be absolutely fine and I thought I would share this with you because I found it on Dunelm. So it's the Blake Stripe black and white rug. Um, it's £65 online, which actually isn't a bad price anyway. So we got it for 25 at the charity shop. We saved a little bit of money there. So not a lot, but every little helps. So we're still pretty happy with that. Um, I've got a couple of little Christmassy bits and I've got these. Actually, I'll show you these first. So I actually grabbed these the other week. These are the Blink security cameras. That is something that I really wanted to get for this house. We decided not to get security cameras because we thought it would just be too much of a pain to take them down when we knew we were going to be moving. Um, but we definitely want to invest in getting like a pretty good like setup when we do move house. And it was Alexa's birthday the other day, apparently. Um, so they had a massive deal on it. It was like 50% off or something. But I wanted to share them with you because obviously Black Friday is coming up. I am going to do a Black Friday video anyway. I've got um, some really good like Amazon fashion things in mind as well. Amazon's like one of my top places to go for Black Friday. But I thought I would just do a little bit of a video because there are certain things that we will be ordering or want to order. Um, and I've already seen some really good deals. So I'm going to do a Black Friday video at some point. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But I really wanted to quickly show you these. So these are the Blink outdoor cameras. The reason we went for these is because they aren't wired. So these are battery operated, but the batteries can last up to two years. Whereas loads of them, you had to change the batteries like every three months. And I'm just not about that life. So we got two of the outdoor ones. Um, it comes with all the batteries and everything as well which i know is such a small thing but these are really like sleek and sexy how like nice and discreet is that so we're going to attach them to our little like fascia board things so we've got one for the front one for the back they're bringing out a video doorbell as well so i, I kind of want to get that when that does come out it comes with little what do we call these all brackety doodad things um so yeah i think normally i think normally they're like 80 quid each i can't quite remember i think we got the t those two and we also got an indoor one so this is mainly to keep an eye on the dogs but we wanted again another wireless one so we already have like a baby monitor camera that we have in our kitchen um 
but it's a wired one and we kind of wanted to keep them the same so it looks the same but it's got a white surround and again it came with it's in there somewhere the little doodad to attach it to the ceiling um so we're gonna have that potentially in like the kitchen kind of area just a, a bit of security just keep an eye on the dogs make sure they're not destroying anything um i think there's is there audio on them two-way audio motion detection two-year battery life day and night view like they just sounded too good to be true and they were a really good price and even better price in the sale um if we do eventually end up bloody moving and we do get our kind of video our security set up on the go i will be doing a video on it because i found it really confusing there's a lot of products on the market it's difficult to know what to go for um steve is a lot more tech techie techie minded um so he's been looking at stuff a lot hello mister oh two misters hello um so yeah steve's obviously been a massive help with choosing stuff like that so there's a reason why we went for those ones in particular but i will share those if and when we get them up and running okay so next things i've got are a couple of christmasy bits um at this rate we're probably not even going to be moving in november um i would normally decorate for christmas around a month before so around the 25th of november is when i would normally decorate um i'm not in the festive mood this year because life's a little bit you know so yeah it would be really really nice to decorate um yeah fingers crossed we don't really know what's going to happen like you never know when you move house that like, we might not move until january and in which case we just probably won't end up decorating but if we're in the house in december then we will decorate the new house just to get a bit of christmas vibe on the go but one thing i have seen is these kind of oh <laughs> you like it don't you um i'll put in an inspo photo of what i've been looking at but they're these really really simplistic scandy style tree ornaments some of them are wood some of them are like painted um the ones that i had my eye on were out of stock and all the ones that are in stock seem to be super expensive for the size that i want so i saw these on amazon amazon do these like they're like um paper mache decoupage kind of wooden not wooden um card cone things and that they are the exact shape that i want and i was gonna do i wanted one like a black and then one maybe like a cream stone color so you get a pack of like five of them for i think it's five pounds i thought maybe i could even shave the like some of the height off of this one and kind of have them layered a bit but i thought these would make really simplistic kind of christmas decorations just to have on like a mantle sideboard wherever really on a shelf and it was super super affordable as well so i'm gonna like diy those at some point and then another thing that i've mentioned to you guys before much to steve's dismay i ordered a new christmas wreath our old christmas wreath you would have seen last year i diy'd it because back then i knew that we weren't going to be in our house for a long time it's the same thing again where i was like oh there's no point buying christmas stuff but i saw this and i had to get it our last christmas wreath was literally falling apart it was really really small as well and i just wanted something that was not your traditional kind of christmas wreath with like the berries and the red and everything so i got this one bearing in mind this needs some like fluffing up it's a little bit like compact because it's been in the box obviously and i've not fluffed it up but i went for this one it's a mistletoe reef it's far more my kind of aesthetic it's that really nice kind of not too vibrant of a green and you do have like the cute little berries but they're like little creamy pearlescent ones so i think once this is fluffed up it's gonna look so good the quality of it's really really good as well it's all like woven into this kind of um wickery twiggy situation i might add a bow to it or something you can see where i've like fluffed up a little bit there before but i think that's gonna look so so nice so i actually ordered this from lights for fun it was a mistletoe reef i think it was about 25 pounds i'm not entirely sure they had some incredible ones on there that were a lot more expensive i knew steve steve's not like the most festive person 
So I knew if I spent like an excessive amount, he would be a bit like, what's the point? But he really likes this one. So it says it actually has a two year guarantee. It comes in a recycled box, sustainably focused, came really well packaged. And I'm glad that it's got like an, a decent box. I can actually store it in each year. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to get this on the door. I am beyond excited. Right, so that's pretty much me done for today. Um, I'm just gonna go back down. I've got a few more like little work bits to do and just have a super chilled evening. We're not up to that much tomorrow. We're just going for lunch with my family. Yeah, so I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. If you guys, little reminder, if you do wanna pick up some personalized prints, some Christmas gifts, whatever it may be, I will leave um, the My Pictures discount code on the screen again. All the details will be down in the description box as well. The one thing that I did buy as a Christmas present, I said earlier, that little acrylic block thing for Steve, I got too excited and I actually showed him earlier. Um, he absolutely loved it. I'm still gonna wrap it up and give it to him for Christmas, but you know, the thought was there, but yeah, I'm over the moon with all the bits I got. So don't forget to go check them out. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss an upcoming video. And until next time, we will see you guys later.